Is okay. there any doubt in the previous lecture? Krishna? No, no doubt. So basically, sir, J, sir, the J one, sir. Can you help solving, sir? Okay, wait a minute. J. What was J? Um, a question. J. So Forty grams of NaO is dissolved in hundred liter, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, just go with the concept. <clears throat> It is 40 gram NaOH in 100 liter, right? Yes. Now you have to go uh, ca uh, calculate TH. TH is a, has a formula minus log of H plus. But here you are seeing that OH that is base. So you will go for POH minus log OH minus, right? So <clears throat> what does this represent? The square bracket basically concentration that is molarity so we need to calculate molarity of naoh then with the help of molarity of naoh we can easily calculate the molarity of oh is that clear yes sir so here uh, i'm going to find out uh, molarity of naoh that is number of moles of naoh upon volume of solution in liter so number of moles is given mass upon molar mass upon volume Given mass is 40, molar mass is also 40, and uh, volume is 100. So we got 1 by 100, which means 10 raised to the power minus 2m. That is molarity of NaOH, right? Yes, sir. So molarity of OH minus will be equal to 10 raised to the power minus 2m. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Thank you. Wait for a minute. Now I will be visible. Ah, uh, shit. This current electricity is so disturbed. Okay. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Now, uh, POH, we are going to calculate POH. That will be equal to, I think, uh, minus la uh, log of OH minus. That is 10 raised to the power minus 2. So, it will be, you can easily calculate that will be equal to POH is equal to 2. Right? Yes, sir. And pH, you can easily calculate that will be uh, 14 minus 2. That will be equal to 12. Right? Yes. So it's so easy. <clears throat> Just finish with this and let me know. Uh, Seth, am I audible to you? Uh, hello, yes, sir. So this was the last part, J part. I just, uh, did you <clears throat> complete the J part? Part J, 40 gram of NaOH in 100 liter of. No, sir. Okay, just see here. And if you have any doubt, you should at least try it. Just try it and let me know. <clears throat> Saif, am I visible? Yes, you are, sir. Okay.
let me know if you are done uh, ifra krishna I'm done sir yes sir what about you saif done sir okay thank you uh, saif uh, is there anything that you don't understand from this part no sir <clears throat> okay so we are going to have a uh, case 2 basically uh, the previous case is uh, uh, all about only acid or acid or base or base See, here we are going to have a uh, to find uh, here we are going to know how to calculate the ph of mixtures so uh case 2 is about ph of mixtures mix mixtures of a strong acid and a strong base this case 2 has two sub part first one is homogeneous homogeneous mixture and second one is heterogeneous mixture now what is homogeneous mixture when two acids are mixed with each other or two bases are mixed with each other that is homogeneous and what is heterogeneous mixture when one acid mix in base are you uh, getting my point uh, yes, a strong sir. acid plus a strong acid sa uh, sa stand for a strong acid a strong acid is mixed in a strong acid that is homogeneous mixture and in this case uh, since it is acid so H plus has a concentration or molarity M one V one plus M two V two upon V one plus V two. What does this M one represents? That is molarity of first acid, a strong acid. Molarity of first a strong acid plus volume of first acid. And M two represents for second acid and volume of second acid. <clears throat> Similarly, a strong base plus a strong base. When a base is mixed in base. that is homogeneous when a strong uh, when an acid is mixed in acid that is homogeneous so here since it is base so we will have oh minus and oh minus is equal to uh, m1 v1 in the same way m2 v2 upon m1 uh, sorry v1 plus v2 is that uh, is that clear yes sir yes sir thank you so much was why are you late सर अभी बाहर से आया मैं सो सो डिड ली टू गो आउटसाइड नहीं नहीं ओके ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न दैट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट पीएच ऑफ एसिड और बेस इंडिविजुअली in this class case 2 that is ph of mixture that is a strong acid or a strong base so there is there are two types of mixture homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture means an acid is mixed in acid and a base is mixed in base that is homogeneous mixture and since it is acid so we will have h plus concentration and it will be m1 v1 plus m2 v2 upon v1 plus v2 and here since it is base so we will have the concentration of oh minus m1 v1 plus m2 v2 upon v1 plus v2 tan <clears throat> sir thank you done sir done everyone saf uh for us okay take your time no problem it's too cold
And then, sir. And then. Very good. Fawaz. And then, sir. Okay. Now we will talk about uh, the second one, heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture stands for a strong acid plus a strong base. When a acid is mixed in base, that is heterogeneous mixture, it is considered to be heterogeneous. Now, <clears throat> there is two cases, uh, there is two formula. If number of moles of H plus is greater than number of moles of OH minus, since acid and base both are present, so we are writing number of moles of H plus greater than number of moles of OH minus. So this will be acidic solution will be a solution. And here we will go for H plus and uh, H plus has a for molarity acid to volume acid minus molarity of base into volume of base upon volume of acid plus volume of base. Volume of acid plus volume of base it is. Is that clear, everyone? Can you repeat oh. again? Also, minus. Uh, wait a minute, uh, Seth. Now see. <laughs> Heterogeneous mixture. That means a strong acid is uh, mixed in a strong base or a strong base is mixed in a strong acid. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Seth. Now, there will be three conditions. The first condition will be number of moles of H plus greater than number of moles of OH minus. Okay. And the second condition, number of moles of OH minus can be greater than number of moles of H plus. And the third condition can be number of moles of H plus will be equal to number of moles OH minus. Three. Condition which is possible, I just wrote it. Apart from possibility, Saf. Saf. Yes, sir. If we are uh, combining two uh, students of two classes, okay, just uh, hear me out. Uh, listen, uh, listen it out. Uh, if we are combining uh, students from two classes, the possibility is the uh, students of two classes will be equal or one of the student one of the class has more student than the other or the other student the other class has more student than the first one three possible condition will be there yes sir uh, are you getting it uh, ifra krishna yes, it is. yes sir fawaz yes sir yes Saif? yes sir so here uh, strong acid plus a strong base so it will be I, uh, either number of moles of acid will be greater than number of moles of base. Either number of moles of base will be greater than number of moles of acid or either they will be e equal. Okay. So when in the case of number of moles of H plus greater than OH minus, this is the required formula. And in case of this, uh, since uh, OH is greater, since OH minus, that means basic character is greater. So the solution will be basic solution. And here we will go for OH minus and OH minus molarity of base my, uh, into volume of base minus molarity of acid into volume of acid upon both volume should be added. And in case a uh, number of moles of H plus number of OH minus equal, that means it is neutral solution. That means it is neutral solution and here pH equals to seven. Neutral solution has a pH equals to 7. It, is yes, it right, sir. Saf? Yes, sir. Very good. So just write it. Uh, this, uh, this, These are two conditions, three conditions. And now I'm going to give you some questions. And you have to, whenever there will be mixture, you will uh, read the question and you will understand first, decide where it is, uh, where, uh, it is 
होमोजीनियस और हेट्रोजीनियस इफ इट इज होमोजीनियस देन अप्लाई एम ऑन वी वन प्लस एम टू वी टू अपॉन वी वन प्लस वी टू इफ इट इज हाइड्रोजीनियस देन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ एच प्लस एज वेल एज ओ एच माइनस देन कंपेयर इट इफ नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ एच प्लस इज ग्रेटर देन अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला एसिड माइनस बेस देन टोटल वॉल्यूम एंड इफ नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ बेस इज ग्रेटर देन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ एसिड देन अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला बेस and if they are equal just don't do it just write it is it is neutral solution and if it is asking about ph then ph equals to 7 is this clear everyone yes sir so can you repeat once sir in the last part you said hmm quality right krishna Uh, no sir the first two conditions if the number of moles of acid is greater than number of moles of base you have to apply this formula okay sir. just think that uh, you have 5 liter of base in a container container is large now you are going to add 10 liter of acid what will be the effect the solution will be acidic or basic acidic acidic so we will apply the formula um, we will calculate h plus in the same way vice versa if we have 5 liter base and you are going to add only 2 liter of acid the solution will be basic yes sir so if it will be basic then we, uh, we will calculate oh minus okay sir got it let me know if you are done with this done sir so this formula is for calculating uh, concentration of h plus and oh yes, yes 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 and with the help of uh, with the help of h plus oh minus we can easily <clears throat> we can calculate it krishna yes sir okay if you have any doubt any anyone let, uh, ask me please done sir thank you everyone done with done, this sir. yes sir very good very good ifra everyone done with this yes sir yes sir saif 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 am i audible to you one minute sir okay take your time
just let me know if you want to go in previous slide here is the question 100 ml of 0.1 m hcl is mixed <clears throat> with 100 ml of 0.1 m hno3 are mixed calculate the ph of the mixture Sir, we have to change volume in liter or we no, can. No, 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 <clears throat> because uh, in numerator there is uh, volume and uh, as well as in denominator, so it will be cancelled. If there is any doubt, let uh, ask me, please. Very good, Ifra. Saif, are you done with the previous slide? Yes, sir. Okay. Krishna? Yes, sir. Finding, sir. How was your answer? It's the wrong answer, uh, Saif. Uh, sorry, Krishna. First, decide it. Uh, Krishna, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Homogeneous. Homogeneous. So, if it is homogeneous, then we have to apply, uh, since it is acid, H, uh, H plus will give M1 V1 plus M2 V2 upon V1 plus V2, right? Uh, Krishna? Yes, sir. So, what is the molarity of uh, this 0 0.1? And corresponding to this, what is the volume 100 plus uh, what is the molarity of second acid 0 0.1 into volume? Uh, it's not necessary the molarity should be equal or uh, volume should be equal. It, it can be different as well as same. Okay. So, uh, and what is the total volume? It will be 200 ml. So, first we are going to calculate concentration FH plus that will be equal to 10 plus 10 upon 200 
that will be equal to 20 upon 200 and it will be equal to 0 0.1 this is our molarity this is concentration of h plus that we got 0 0.1 now ph equals to minus log of h plus right we need yes, to calculate sir. ph minus log of h plus has a value 0 0.1 which we can write it as 10 raised to the power minus 1 and the formula for power formula of log it will be 1 log 10 and log 10 has a value 1 so 1 into 1 ph equals to 1 so easy isn't it ifra very good saf what about you yes the same answer no oh, very good very good for us you only yes, found that uh, you have uh, you had calculated only the molarity right uh -huh, uh, yes sir not the ph so concentrate on questions also uh, yes sir you done with this let me know Done, sir. <clears throat> Very good. For us? Sir, one minute. Okay, take your time. Should I slide, uh, slide it a little bit down? Can I? Yes, sir. This much is okay. Okay, this much is okay. Thank you. Going for the second question. 500 ml of 0.1 m KOH potassium hydroxide is mixed with 500 ml of 0.2 m NaOH. First decide whether it is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Find pH of resulting solution. Calculate it and let me know, please. for any answer krishna saf forwards one minute sir okay
ओके सॉल्व इट सैफ कृष्णा सर डन नो सर वन मिनट ओके इफ्रा कृष्णा एम आई ऑडिबल ये सर जस्ट मैं सर आई एम जस्ट अबाउट फिनिश UH is coming zero point one five. I think it's a wrong answer. What is pH? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to solve it. <clears throat> Just see first. Decide whether it is a homogeneous or heterogeneous. Since it is homogeneous, and we have to calculate. OH minus that is M one V one plus M two V two upon me, uh, upon V one plus V two. Okay, so very good. Uh, pH uh, OH minus th is this much. Uh, what is the molarity? That is zero point one into five hundred plus zero point two into five hundred divided by V one plus V two. That will be equal to thousand. Okay. now if you will multiply it by uh, 50 and it will be 100 and it will be 1000 so it will be 150 upon 1000 and we can write it uh, 15 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 as the molarity of oh minus everyone okay with this sir uh, yes, sir are you with this uh, ifra now what we are going to do is uh, finding poh poh is equal to basically minus log of uh, oh minus okay so we are going to uh, put the value of oh minus in the formula so it will be log of uh, 15 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 and applying the formula we will get uh, log 5 uh, sorry log 15 minus log 10 raised to the power minus 2 and log 15 we don't know the value of directly log 15 so i'm going to write it uh, 3 into 5 of 15 okay 3 into 5 <clears throat> now uh, and here we are going to uh, uh, solve it so it will be plus 2 log 10 and we know the value of log 10 that is equal to 1 everyone okay with this yes sir okay now log 3 into 5 will be written uh, can be written as log 3 Minus log five, and here it will be plus. Now, uh, what is the value of log three? That is zero point four seven one, right? Yes, sir. Krishna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what is the value of log five? Uh, let me know what is the value of log five. So zero point six nine. Zero point six nine, and plus two, and here you can calculate it. Uh, how much it will be after adding? Zero point six nine. Wait a minute. So one point one six. One point one six. One point one six. Now you'll get uh, it. One point one six and plus two. What will be the value? I think it will be zero point. So it will be one point eight four. One point eight four. Very good. It will be one point eight four. So what will uh, this is the value of pH? So what is the value of pH? pH will be equal to. Fourteen minus one point eight four, and I think it will be twelve point one six. Very good. Ifra, <coughs> Saif, <coughs> 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 
should i slide it up fawaz sir yes, so you should tell me na yes, sir yes, sir 1 minus uh, 1.161 minus 2 is 0. 0.839 wait a minute uh, wait a minute i will uh, calculate yes sir <laughs> आप तुम्हारी जान दे देते हैं done everyone yes sir now uh, there is a mistake <laughs> 1.16 minus uh, sorry 2 minus 1.16 that will be uh, 0.84 na <clears throat> first uh, 0.471 plus 0.69 that will be equal to 1.16 very good now if we will minus it by 2 it will be 0.839 that will be equal to approximately 0 0.84 so the ph has a value which is equal to poh 0 0.84 so we are going to put it at 0 0.84 so ph will be 14 minus 0.84 so it will be 13.6 okay krishna Yes, sir. Very big mistake it is. Everyone done with this? Fawaz? Yes, sir. Seth, can I change the slide? Seth? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Moving to the next question. Can we move to the good part? Next part. So, here it is a question 10 ml of 0 0.1 mH2 SO4 plus 10 ml of, this is 10 ml of 0 0.1 m. KOH. Find the pH of solution. Find the pH of solution. Is it neutral solution? Krishna? Did you check the number of moles of uh, H plus as well as number of moles of OH minus? Is it equal? 
no so i didn't i made a mistake okay yeah Ifra, Saif, Krishna. Sir, can you help solving, sir? Okay, okay. Uh, first, uh, decide it uh, whether it is homogeneous or heterogeneous, Krishna. So it is heterogeneous. 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 So <clears throat> heterogeneous it is. Now, it is given that it is zero point one m H two SO four. So <laughs> since the molarity of h2so4 is <coughs> 0.1 m and molarity of h plus will be equal to 0.2 m will it be or not yes sir everyone ifra sir yes sir fawaz sir uh, phir se explain karenge 0.1 m h2so4 since two hydrogen it will give two h plus will give uh, one h2so4 will give two h plus so Molarity of H plus will be double of molarity of H two S O four. Ah yes. Sir, are you okay with this? Yes, sir. Now, since we got the molarity of H plus, now we need to calculate. Whenever there is heterogeneous mixture in ionic equilibrium, we need to calculate number of moles. And we know that molarity is equal to number of moles upon volume. So number of moles is equal to molarity into volume. So molarity of H plus is zero point two. And the volume in which it is present is ten mL. Is ten mL. So we will multiply it by ten. So number of moles of H plus is two moles, right? We got number of H plus. Number of moles of H plus is two moles. Is this clear, everyone? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Now we will go for NaOH, uh, KOH, KOH since zero point one m KOH. So molarity of OH minus molarity of OH minus will be Was molarity of OH minus Krishna zero point one zero point one zero point one m. Now we will find out number of moles. Number of moles is equal to molarity into volume. Molarity of OH minus that is zero point one and volume that is ten mL. So it will be one mole. Which moles is greater, OH minus one or H plus? H plus. Sir. So number of moles of H plus is greater than number of moles of OH minus. So we will go for H plus. Listen to me very 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 carefully. Now we will go for H plus. H plus has a formula since it is acid. So molarity of acid into volume of acid minus molarity of base since it is weak uh, weak or uh, less less volume of base upon volume of acid plus volume of base. Now uh, molarity of acid that is H plus is you can see it is zero point two. So zero point two into volume is. Volume is. Let me know what it is. Volume. Ten. 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 So ten minus what is the molarity of uh, OH minus? That is zero point one, and its volume is also ten divided by total volume will be twenty. Right, everyone? Yes, sir. Now we just need to calculate what uh, we are going to do. H plus is equal to. It will be two minus one divided by twenty. Right. So it will be one by twenty, and if you are going to divide it, it will be zero point zero zero five, zero point zero five or zero point zero zero five, zero point zero five, right? Krishna, yes, yes sir. 
So we can also write five into ten raised to the power minus two. We can write it. Now yes, we got the concentration of H plus. So pH is equal to minus log of H plus. pH is equal to minus log of H plus. So it will be minus log of H plus. Uh, that is five into ten raised to the power minus two. And we know the formula how to calculate this. Uh, that is minus log five. And uh, minus log of ten raised to the power minus two. Can you solve it? Yes, sir. Yes. So I am sliding it up. Just write it, and uh, we'll do the next question. <clears throat> you all have already written the question, right? Yes, sir. So can you please scroll down? Yes, yes. Done, everyone. Krishna, sir. Just a minute. Done, sir. Very good. Fawaz, are you done with this? Yes, sir, done. Okay. 10 ml of 0 0.2 m calcium hydroxide plus 10 ml of 0 0.1 m HCl Calculate pH of solution. pH of solution. It's so easy. Please calculate.
everyone done with this just a minute okay, still just a minute <clears throat> ifra oh four. i'll check it out uh, the answer ifra very good i just solved it 13.6 Pawaj, any answer from you? Sir, uh, Rukh, one minute. One minute as always. Uh -huh. uh, Saif? About to complete, sir. About to complete. H equals to 12 and if I got equals to 13.6. So I'm going to solve it. Or, <coughs> hear me out. Here is 0 0.2 M CAOH whole twice. Let me know if I and uh, Krishna, what is the molarity of OH minus? Krishna, Efra. Sir, 0 0.4. Yes, sir. 0 0.4. Very good. Very good. Now, going for number of moles, that is molarity into <coughs> volume. It will be 4 moles. Everyone okay with this? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, again, 0 0.1 mHCl. Again, if you, uh, if you will go for 0 0.1 mHCl, what is the molarity of H plus? Ifra? So, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 M. Right. right, Krishna? Yes, sir. Now, number of moles will be 0 0.1 into volume is 10. So, it will be 1 mole. Now, you are seeing that number of moles of OH greater than number of moles of H+. plus. So, OH minus, we are going to calculate the uh, molarity of OH minus that will of this minus molarity of A into volume of A upon sum of all the volumes. So, going to put the value molarity of this equal to because we need to take the value of O minus, minus 0 0.1 into 10 divided by V plus V equal to. And here you can see 4 minus 1 divided by 20. Now we need to, uh, we just need to it. And here you can see OH minus, that will be equal to 3 upon 20. And if you are going to divide it, uh, can you tell me the, uh, uh, can you tell me the value in decimal? Three so it is 0 0.1, right? Uh, 0 0.1? 0 0.15. So it is 0 0.1, so the... Uh, 0 0.15, 0. 0 0.1 into 10, sir. 0 0.1. 3 by 20. Are you talking about 3 no, by sir. 20? No, sir. I'm talking about the formula, sir. I think you have made a mistake, sir. MB into VB minus MA into VA. Uh, the molarity of uh, base is 0 0.1. Whenever, right? whenever the number of moles of uh, acid or base, whoever is greater, that will be in, uh, in the first plus, uh, in the first plus, Place, then minus the lesser number. Uh, uh, no, sir. I mean 0 0.2, sir. My mistake. It's oh, 0 0.2. 0 .2, right? You 0 just 2 took 1. it uh, uh, as a uh, MB 0 0.2, right? Yes, sir. Oh, no. You have to take the molarity of OH minus, na? Okay, sir. So here 15 into 10 raised to the power minus 2, we can write. And now POH is equal to minus log of OH minus. And here we can easily solve. Uh, minus log which minus 15 into 10 raised to the power minus 2, right? Everyone okay with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you can easily solve it. Can you, can you solve it? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have done it in previous question. It will come out as 0 0.84. Very good. Very good. Can I change the slide? Yeah. One minute, sir. Seth, okay. Take your time.
everyone done with this yes sir okay. yes sir sir yes sir <clears throat> okay moving to the next question please solve it very good very good ifra very good any other answer fawaz sir thanks what sir i am doing you are still doing krishna sir sir doing sir <clears throat> what is the value of ph krishna read the question and answer me according to the question that's good now you Sir, any answer? Now see here. Here it is given that zero point one m H two S O four. From this information, we can easily conclude that the molarity of H plus is double of this, so it will be zero point two m. It will be zero point two m, sir. Yes, sir. For was now we can calculate number of moles of H plus. That is, uh, molarity into volume. That is ten. It will be two moles. Yes, sir. Number of moles of H plus will be two moles. Again, zero point one m NaOH. So, from this information, we can uh, easily find the molarity of OH minus that will be equal to zero point one m. Again, number of moles of OH minus you are going to find out molarity into volume that is twenty. So, if you are going to multiply it, it will give two moles. now from this information and in this information if we compare number of moles of h plus will be equal to number of moles of oh minus since both are equal so it is neutral solution and neutral solution in neutral solution ph has a value equals to 7 is this clear
ਕੋਈ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਡਨ ਸਰ ਡਨ एवरीवन ਯੈਸ ਸਰ ਓਕੇ ਸੈਫ ਸੈਫ ਯੈਸ ਸਰ ਡਨ ਓਕੇ ਨਾਓ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟ ਪੀਐਚ ਇਫ ਮੋਲਾਰਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ how to calculate molarity or concentration if ph is given so calculate the concentration of h plus in the following reaction calculate the molarity of uh, sorry concentration of h plus in the following a is ph equals to 5 b is ph equals to 4.3 c is ph equals to 3.155 <clears throat> okay everyone everyone uh, wrote this question yes sir yes sir now see if we going we, if we are going to find uh, concentration with the help of ph you know that ph is equal to minus log of h plus and ph has a value 5 so when when you are taking anti log of this there is a base uh, first you are going to make this positive <clears throat> this is maths <clears throat> multiplying by negative sign both sides so it will be log of h plus and here it will be minus 5 is it okay everyone yes sir now when we take anti log h plus will be equal to and here it is base 10 so it will be like this so h plus has a concentration 10 raised to the power minus 5 is this clear everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir so but this a is quite easy if you have given uh, like uh, le let's say d is given ph is equal to 4 what you have to do h plus is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 4 i can directly write it <coughs> krishna saif yes sir Pra? yes sir yes sir <coughs> now the problem came here when ph equals to 4.3 is given ph equals to 4.3 is given now see ph is equal to 4.3 is given now if you are going to calculate h plus that will be equal to 10 raised to the power minus 4.3 do you know the value of 10 raised to the power minus 4.3 yes or no no sir no sir no very good so what we will do this is very important to understand i am going to write uh, some <clears throat> values if if you will remember it it is very useful <clears throat> in calculation of uh, the concentration always remember that uh, you know that log 2 to the base 10 has value 0.3 right everyone yes sir. yes sir. so whenever you take anti log whenever you take anti log 10 raised to the power 0.3 will be equal to 2 this is the value of log this is the value of anti log is this is this clear Yes, you sir. know the value of 10 raised to the power 2 is equal to 100 10 raised to the power minus 2 is equal to 0.01 but do you know the value of 10 raised to the power 0.3 no sir but now no. you know 10 raised to the power 0.3 has a value 2 is this clear everyone saf yes sir now you also know log 3 to the base 10 has a value 0.471 everyone now yes, if, we, if there will will be value 10 raised to the power 0.471 so it has a value 3 it will have value 3 is this clear everyone yes sir so yes, you sir. can easily relate this to that yeah <clears throat> log if you remember that uh, you also know log uh, 5 to the base 10 has a value 0.69 everyone yes sir. and 10 raised to the power 0.69 is equal to 5 anti log you also know log 7 to the base 10 has a value 0.84 something right so if there is a value 10 raised to the power 
so it has a value seven. <clears throat> Is this clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, first, right uh, from the starting, then we will go ahead. First, write this, then that value, then we will go on P, uh, part B. How uh, I'm going to calculate that part 10 raised to the power 4.3. <clears throat> Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Very good, everyone. Now write this value. After this, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the value of <coughs> concent uh, how to calculate concentration of H plus when 4.3 pH is given. <coughs> <clears throat> Very good. If everyone done with this? Yes, sir. Fawaz. Yes, sir. Saif. Yes, sir. Now, see, B part. I'm going to solve B part. That is pH equals to uh, 4.3 given. <clears throat> so, first, you have to do as <clears throat> the earlier, as the previous question. H plus will be equal to 10 raised to the power minus 4.3. It will be. Now, <clears throat> we don't know the value of uh, minus 4.3. But here is a trick how to solve it. We uh, <clears throat> just see 4.3. Just above 4.3, which number come? Just above 4.3. The uh, number should be natural, 4. not 4.4. The number should be natural number 5. Five. Five, right? Sir. 4.3. Yes, uh, after 4.3, it will be five. <clears throat> so just add five as well as subtract five <laughs> so that uh, uh, according to mathematics, it won't have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now just add five and subtract five above this number, uh, natural number. Now I can write it 10 raised to the power 0 0.7 minus 5. I just solve this part only. I just solve this part only. So can I write it like my, uh, 0 0.7 minus 5? Can I write it? Minus 4.3 plus 5 will be 0 0.7? Yes, sir. Now I uh, can I also write 10 raised to the power 0 0.7 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. Can I write this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Krishna. And you know the 10 raised to the power uh, 0 0.69 as a value 5. Just check your notes. 
Yes. Yes. Forward. So yes, sir. Yes. This has a value of uh, 0 0.69 approximately equal to 0 0.7. So H plus has a value equal to 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. Isn't it easy? Yes, sir. So what you have to do is uh, just uh, solve it like uh, the previous question, <clears throat> like uh, pH equals to 5. So uh, H plus is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 5. So in the same way, if uh, 4.3, 3.3, whatever it is given, 10 raised to the power, it will be 10 raised to the power, that number, that pH. Okay. Then just concentrate here, concentrate here. And whatever is the number here given, just increase one number and add as well as subtract. Add first and then subtract. And then um, add uh, uh, or first subtract first two, so first two, and then you have, you will get the Honest. Just write it and I'm going to give you another question as I have given the C part. <clears throat> Everyone done? done sir. Yes, sir. Done. So if you are done with this, then uh, <clears throat> solve that pH equals to what was it? 3 point 3.155. pH equals to 3.155. This uh, will it be seven into ten raised to the power minus five or minus seven? <clears throat> minus uh, minus four, na? Yes, yes, minus four. Very good. <clears throat> Anyone else? Any uh, any other answer? Saif? Muhammad, who is this? Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Abdul Wahid Khan. Is... Arsalan, is it Arsalan? 
Is this Arsalan? Sahib, any answer? Ifra? Now, yes, sir. pH equals to oh, what's your answer, Saif? I'm getting 7 into 10 raised to power minus 4. Very good. So, if pH is equal to 3.155, so very good, everyone, very good. H plus is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 3.155. So, what you just did is plus 4 minus 4, right? So, you will get, I think, uh, how much you will get after. Uh, 0 0.84. 0 0.84, sir. 0 0.84. 0 0.84 and 0 0.84 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. So H plus um, this will be equal to 7 and 10 raised to the power minus 4. Everyone got this. Very good. Very good. Now pH of human stomach fluid is 1.2. Calculate the concentration of H plus. Calculate the concentration of H plus. Any answer, Krishna? Ifra? So 10 power 1.8, what we should consider, sir? 10.1 power 8. So 10 power 1.8, sir. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, this is the pH, right? pH is equal to 1.2. Oh, sorry, sir. So I got it, sir. So I... So H plus has a concentration. 10 raised to the power. Ten raised to the power minus one point two. So what we do is ten raised to the power minus one point two, and here plus two and minus two. And what we do is uh, minus zero point eight, right? Yes. Zero point eight into ten raised to the power minus two. And what is this? Seven into ten raised to the power minus two. H plus, right? Yes. Sir. Very good, everyone. Can I change the slide? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm.
Now we will discuss buffer solution. The next topic is there any doubt in finding pH or the concentration of no sir H plus. Everyone, uh, Krishna, Muhammad Sahib. No doubt, sir. Fawaz, Muhammad, no, 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 Wahid. Now we are going to see what is buffer solution. The solution which resist the change in its pH on dilution or uh, on concentration. Basically, a, a solution which does not want to change its pH or a solution which resists the change in its pH due to some external uh, agency like if we dilute it and on a small scale or on a small uh, amount of uh, solvent. So if it will resist its change, that solution is known as buffer solution. So I'm going to write the definition. It will be more clear. The solution which resist which resist the change in which resists the change in pH on dilution with The solution which resists the change in pH on dilution or with <clears throat> addition of a small amount of acid or base is called buffer solution. So basically the solution which resists change in its pH <coughs> due to a small amount of acid or base is called buffer solution. There are two types of buffer solution, acidic buffer or basic buffer. Just write it and let me know. Done, sir. Done, Done everyone. Yes, sir.
types of buffer solution. Two types of buffer solution, acidic buffer. basic buffer first we are going to discuss what is acidic buffer so just make a flow chart Make this flow chart and let me know. Done, sir. Done, sir. Now, see what is acidic buffer? <clears throat> I'm going to write two definitions of it. And you know about weak acid, weak base, strong acid, with strong base, as well as conjugate acid and conjugate base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. everyone. No. Acidic buffer is it is the mixture of basically buffer solution is mixture of weak acid. Whenever there will be acidic buffer, in that the mixture in which one of the component is weak acid and its conjugate base and its conjugate base. You know that acid is converted uh, when we discussed about Bronsted acid and Bronsted base. Acid is converted into conjugate base and base is converted into conjugate acid. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So whenever there is a mixture of weak acid and its conjugate base, that is called acidic buffer or do, uh, another definition. It is the mixture of... <laughs> It is the mixture of weak acid and its salt with a strong base and its salt with salt with a strong base. I will give example. Uh, I will give some examples so it will be more clear. <clears throat> now see. <laughs> If we have CH three C double O N CH three C double O H plus CH three C double O N A, this is a mixture. If I will ask, is it buffer solution or not? First, we will uh, we will go and uh, check it out. Is it uh, weak acid or uh, weak base? What is this? All organic acid are weak acid. I told you. I wrote it in note. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So this is basically weak acid. Now come to this. This is a salt, a salt of carboxylic acid, sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Now see, salt is made by acid as well as a combination of acid, a combination of acid and base gives salt. Right, Krishna? Yes, sir. Shifra? Yes. Now see, yes. there is two component. This is CH three C double O minus plus Na plus. So Na plus come from NaOH, which is a strong base, which is a strong base. And this is a this is an acid, which um, this part comes from CH3 CWH, which is weak base, mm, sorry, weak acid. So the second point is more clear from this example. It is the mixture of weak acid, which is CH3 CWH, and, and it's salt with a strong base. The base is a strong NaOH, and it's salt with a strong base. So this mixture is basically buffer solution and in buffer, it is acidic buffer. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So basically, uh, whenever there will be question, is it buffer solution or not, or uh, more specific, I'm going acidic buffer, uh, will it show acidic buffer or not? So we just need to see the mix. Uh, we just need to see the mixture and in which we will go for first uh, weak acid and then go for that conjugate base or uh, uh, weak acid conjugate base or 
either it will be conjugate base or either it will be salt of a strong base. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, sir. So just write it. Done, sir. Done, everyone. Done, sir. Sir. For was. Was no for was okay, sir. Are you done with this? Yes, sir. Okay, make a list example of it. Uh, in acidic buffer, weak acid there will be much, uh, there will be weak acid. So, first of all, example CS3 CWH plus either it's uh, what uh, what is the conjugate. Base of CS3 CWH, it will be CS3 CWO minus plus um, whether it will be conjugate base or salt with a strong acid. So it will be CS3 CWO N. So mixture of this or this or mixture of this or this. This will be a acidic buffer. <clears throat> now, going for a, uh, another example, HCN, which is a weak acid plus CN minus, which is conjugate base, which is conjugate base or either it's conjugate as uh, salt of its uh, salts with a strong base. Again, H2CO3. So either it will be HCO3 minus or NHCO3. Or we can write H3PO4 plus H2PO4 minus, or we can write NH2PO4. H3PO3, H2PO3 minus or NH2PO3. <clears throat> so this will uh, this is it for today. Please write it and we will continue here, uh, <coughs> from here in next class. Okay. So what's the name of CN, sir? Cyanide. The CN minus cyanide ion. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, so we will continue from here in next class on Tuesday. Okay, okay, sir. Do you have any doubt from today's class? No, sir. Okay, Krishna. No, okay. sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Who is this, Abdul Wahid Khan? Is this our salon?
थैंक यू सर ओके